Yeah, that's a great question. And it's that that option is certainly on the table. I mean, we we recognize that if we're on the current trajectory we're on and we're anticipating continued uptick in hospitalizations over the next 14 days, that we could get to a point where we have to shift resources to caring for solely COVID patients again, like we did earlier in the pandemic. I hope it doesn't come to that. We know some hospital systems have had to do that and already thinking through that. Um, so it is always one of the tools in our toolbox to, to deal with surge, whether it's moving beds around, stopping elective procedures, all of those things have to be, you know, on the table if we're going to you know, deal with a surge like we did in January and February. Yeah, I, I think most of the people who, are, who have been vaccinated um, really had interest in it. So I, I think the, the third dose in the series uh, will be of interest to most of those people. You know, we've had other types of vaccine over the years. For, and one example is, is hepatitis B vaccine. For a long time, it was a three-dose series. When I was in medical school and every medical student got it, the three-dose series. It's a two-dose series now, but we have other vaccinations that we're used to giving you know, multiple doses. So I would see this third dose as, hey, completing the three-dose series. I think a lot of people would be interested in that. It isn't, it, to your point, it's an interesting um observation and human behavior, right? We have some individuals in our communities who adamantly don't want a single dose and others who adamantly want the third dose. Um, and that just speaks to kind of the polarization we've seen during the entire pandemic. Um, and uh, it's unfortunate, but that's kind of where we are right now. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. I and mean, when, when we speculate on the eight month mark, we really don't know what they're gonna recommend. That's the rumor floating around whether it's eight months or nine months or 12 months. I don't think anybody really knows. Often in vaccination series, um, you have a window of time. So there are other types of vaccines we get where you give a dose today and then the second dose comes in two to six months. So it depends on the individual and their immune system. They're, you don't have to set your watch to some of these second doses as to when they're given. I think this is no different. So. If you've had two doses and ultimately the guidance is eight months, you can probably get it at nine months or 10 months or, or whatever it is. So I do think it may help um, with the Delta variant, particularly for vulnerable individuals who didn't respond as well to vaccine before to have that additional uh, boost to their antibody levels and their T cell response. I think it's gonna be a good thing. You know, I do, I, I think what we saw uh, last year is that there were school systems around the country that put mitigating um, strategies in place and they were able to get through an in-person school year, distancing and masking and ventilation systems and things outside. And, and they did that with great success in a lot of places. Other places did a lot of obviously Zoom-based learning and online learning. Um, and so I, I think we know you can, you can get through a school year um, relatively safely by by taking those strategies. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me the school system would not have a mask mandate in right now in the, in the midst of this big uh, Delta wave that we see, um, because I think you're just asking for a, a pocket or an outbreak in, in the school. So I think if you wanna increase the chances that your school can stay in person through the entire school year, um, then it makes sense, particularly here in the first quarter, to start with masking, social distancing, mitigation factors, staying home if you're sick, washing your hands. And we've seen that can be very effective in keeping people in school. I think places that don't have mass mandates in place, as infectious as Delta variant is, it's gonna run through a school and there may be a time you have to shut the school down for a couple of weeks because of it. So I, I think that could happen. So, um, you know, that, that would be my advice is that schools ought to, ought to start with a, a mask mandate um, as they enter the school year.